Welcome back to Dead State. I'm Pit Stop Head, and this is a quick video looking at Double Bear's first official update for this isometric zombie slasher. Now, I'm going to go into the game and have to show you quickly what these updates are. I'm not going to hang around. I've got plenty of gameplay on my channel um, where you can see Dead State in action. So let's have a look at what they've included in this update. Okay, so some of the problems that players have been having is that it's very difficult to heal your characters. You've got Brian here, here he goes, strolling back towards the public school. One of the things is they go out, they fight, they get injured, and it was very difficult to repair because you'd have to use a med pack, and of course they're in short supply. So what they now do over time, if they're in splendid general, this huge school, they will gradually heal. And that is going to really help with venturing. Another little thing they've added, um, which makes perfect sense, is on your jobs board, what you now have is a pass time button. So you can set a job and you can see here that um, we can put a job, say, let's go to this guy here. He's got a job, uh, maintenance, lovely, 24 hours. And what we can do, we can click the pass time and then the hours will tick on. You can see here we can select, it's currently one. We can, okay, take up to two, to three. Okay, and there, two, uh, two hours have gone off that job. They've also added an ally inventory management on the shelter storage system. Okay, so that helps organize and swap over different items. It's also worth pointing out that they've added the option to choose parts to assist when fixing the fence. Now, at the moment, my fence is fully repaired, but when you do need to repair it, and you will, and it's one of these things you have to keep coming back to, you will be able to select parts and that will help speed up or improve how you repair your fence. Okay, so another area that they've been looking on improving is adding harvesting to the game so you can gather resources for your team. We go to the map now. Within this area here, you can see there is a little a leaf on the left hand side in the legend the harvest site these have been added and numerous locations have been put into the map and what we're going to do is have a look and see if we can find one it's also worth noting that the developers at double bear have also added 10 random map encounters so we've got 10 more locations within this vicinity so what we're going to do is set our little team out. It's quite late and this is my last day unfortunately. But ah, you can see here this is a fishing location. Unfortunately though, we don't have any fishing poles. That is one of the things they still need to add and they acknowledge that on the text for the update that there are no fishing poles. But you can see that they're expanding the game and that that is available. I've just put it on there, you can see the sign your party has no fishing pole. That will be something they add very soon, no doubt. And that's going to be really handy because obviously you need to keep your team stocked up with food to keep morale high. We have a field. Okay, so this is a, another random uh, encounter on the map. Um, a generic name, a field, they're probably going to expand out the descriptions for these particular things but imagine you're heading out in your map and you just happen to come across some zombies or a campsite or something like that in a field, this kind of makes sense. Okay, so this is partly what this game needed, it needed more locations, obviously this is early access demo so there was only going to be a limited amount of stuff you could access but then they've added this, they've put this in so they've expanded out this early part of the game and you can see here this random encounter has given you the option it's a shortcut through a field, shall we take it? I think so so we're going to go into this particular encounter now huh. 
Okay, so just to summarize, we've got random encounters, we've got harvest points, we've got fishing locations, although no fishing pole as yet. We've got additional inventory management options. We've got healing over time, which is something that's really has been needed in the game. We've got uh, a new passing time section in the jobs board and um, you can choose parts and sign those to repairing fences which is no doubt going to speed things up. Okay, these are little things in game that are going to really help keep your party alive, make the game engaging. I still think there's huge amount of stuff to come from this game. It's also worth pointing out that they've made a lot of fixes to bugs which players have been pointing out. So this is a really positive step forward for Dead State. Lot to come. That's a pit stop head video as a Dead State update. Check my channel, subscribe. There's other Dead State videos on there, gameplay, tips, hints, all types of stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.